What goes on, people? Welcome to Den Night, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Bandai Figuart Zero Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, I actually impulse bought this one a while ago. Just because I love the... I don't know how you want to say it. The presentation. I'm definitely more of a Vegeta guy, but I also love Super Saiyan 3, even though it's ridiculous. And I love the Dragon Fist concept. So, even though it's not a man Vegeta, it's definitely combining both, and I like it. So I'm happy to add it to my collection. Nothing too extravagant about, about the box, just showing the pose the statues in over and over again. But pretty cool artwork. I like that it's open box design. But enough of the boring stuff. Let's get him out of the box. So here we got him out of the box. And I gotta say, for what he cost, I'm really liking it. It's definitely on par with some of the RN Studios stuff I've had for at least half the price. And there's just a ton of detail in this whole figure. Like I said, I'm more of a Vegeta guy. I think Goku's kind of a moron. I think that's his thing. But I also really like how ridiculous Super Saiyan 3 is. I wish we would have got to see Vegeta, like, in Super Saiyan 3 in the actual series. But I understand it was a very flawed form and just served one purpose, basically, just to pat out everything in that arc, but I still like it. It's a really cool-looking form. Now, the only thing I will say canonically about the statue anyway is I feel like the only time Goku used Super Saiyan 3 and the Dragon Fist as a combo he was dead hence he would have had that halo that he doesn't have in this statue maybe I'm wrong on that maybe someone can correct me but as my memory serves me I'm pretty sure the only time that happened he was dead so there should be a halo in this statue Maybe they thought it'd be drowned out because of all the yellow. I don't know. Just my little nerd rant. And like I said, I could be wrong. But. Anyway, lots of detail. Ton of detail in the dragon scales. I know I already said this, but. For the price point, just under $100, this thing is just packed with detail. I mean, all the stuff that would usually just be like shortcuts, just to cut the cost down a little bit. I mean, I don't, I don't really know how they made any money with this. I guess I'm kind of ignorant in the whole business of this but it's definitely cool I wish the eyes lit up a little bit but that would have definitely taken it over the price point it was at but it still looks cool I'm sure I could customize and add something even give the dragon like a glow in his mouth too I can't complain though Super detailed on everything. Even like all the definition in Goku's arms. It's freaking crazy. I might look into more of these to be honest with you. This is way better than I thought it would be.
Honestly, I'm gushing right now, but it looks like it was torn right out of the page of the manga or right off the screen from the anime. You put a nice background behind this, it's perfect. Shenron's, uh, is this even Shenron wins the Dragon Fist? I don't know. Looks like Shenron. But his, uh, whisker, I guess you want to call it, has a little bit of flexibility, which I like, because that would probably be the most fragile part of the whole statue. Honestly, I could spend an hour just going around and around in this and just finding new things. I don't typically do this in my videos, but if you're a Dragon Ball fan, I really recommend this one. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. So, I gave it about three or four once-arounds while I gushed and chilled out about it. But you can be the judge. I think this is a great piece. But let's get it back. Let's get it in the showcase. And here we have Goku in the showcase. For now, he's just going to chill next to Crying to the Heavens Green Ranger, as I like to call him. Until I get a little bit of a theme going as to what goes with what. This is just going to be random right here. But this is going to be his home for now. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Do all those YouTube things. And keep collecting. Bye.